Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime with Anna Christina. Today's story is Chris the Caterpillar. Are you ready? There once was a fairy called Butterfly. She had the most amazing multicolored wings, just like a butterfly. She lived in a tree at the bottom of a garden near a rock, and her job was to help the plants and flowers grow. One day she noticed the old shed door was open, so she wandered over to take a closer look. She discovered a sad-looking caterpillar sitting in the dark corner. She stepped closer. What's your name? The caterpillar looked up with watery eyes and said, My name's Chris. What's wrong, Chris? said the fairy. I want to be a butterfly and fly in the sunshine instead of crawling in darkness searching for light. But nobody can change me into a butterfly with wings as colourful as yours. Maybe I can. I'll need some help from my friends, said the fairy. And you'll have to come into the garden. I'll do anything you want, said Chris. So the fairy flew back into the garden to call on her friends. Friends of the garden, I call you now. The red rose, Hello. the blue bell, Hello. the yellow sunflower, Hello. the white lily, Hello. the purple daffodil Hello. and the evergreen ivy oh, all gathered around. With her magic wand, the fairy took a tiny splash of all the colours and then her wand began to glow. But Chris does not believe in magic. Nobody can give me colourful wings. The fairy said, Come out of the darkness and step into the light. She waved her magic wand and all the colours sprinkled onto the caterpillar's head. Suddenly Chris was transformed into a beautiful, colourful butterfly. All the flowers danced around in joy and the fairy sung out, Now fly! Hi! Into the sunshine! Into the sky! Chris spread his wings and looked in surprise. Mm -hmm. Off he flew, higher and higher, out into the sunshine! Yahoo! All the flowers cheered. Chris had finally become what he'd always dreamed of being, a colourful butterfly. And with his new wings, glistening in the sun, he gently fluttered back down into the garden. Thank you, friends of the garden. Thank you, fairy. I'll always look after the flowers and bring beauty to the garden. Now I believe in magic. But what Chris didn't know was that one day he would have become a butterfly anyway. Are you ready for the Chris the Caterpillar listening and visual game? Have you got your listening ears turned on? <laughs> Great, let's get started. There are many sounds in my music audio story, Chris the Caterpillar, but did you hear the sound of the garden? There are lots of birds in the garden. Let's listen again. Do you know what this sound is? It's the sound of a frog. You'll have to listen very carefully to my story if you want to hear this sound. Let's listen again. In my music audio story, Chris the Caterpillar, we met a fairy called Butterfly. She called upon her friends. to help her make magic. She called upon the red rose, the blue bell, the yellow sunflower, the white lily, 
the purple daffodil, and the evergreen ivy. With her magic wand, the fairy took a tiny splash of all the colours, and then her wand began to glow. I love that part in the story. Now, let's listen to some sounds in the music. The Chris the Caterpillar soundtrack has lots of woodwind instruments. Woodwind instruments are a family of instruments that fit into two main types, flutes and reed. Let's listen to a flute instrument first. That's the beautiful sound of the flute. It's created by a musician blowing in an opening at one end of the instrument. Let's listen to that again. Now let's listen to a reed instrument. Do you know what this instrument is? It's called an oboe. Let's listen to that again. A reed is a thin strip of material that vibrates to produce a sound on an instrument. Let's listen to another reed instrument. That was the sound of the clarinet. When I composed the music for Chris the Caterpillar, the first part I wrote was for the bassoon. That sounded like this. I was having breakfast one morning and all I could hear was this. What a wonderful sound. I hope you have enjoyed listening to my sound effects and music parts from my music audio story, Chris the Caterpillar. Are you ready for my second activity? I'm going to teach you some fun facts about caterpillars. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go. In my music audio story, Chris the Caterpillar, you met a caterpillar called Chris. Caterpillars are small insects with long, soft bodies. Now, they look like they have lots of legs, but they only actually have six true legs and six pairs of eyes. A hairy caterpillar. Their sizes vary from one millimetre up to 14 centimetres. What do caterpillars do? Caterpillars eat a lot. In fact, they spend all day eating. They shed their skin several times so they can grow and they move very slow. They live for around two weeks up to a month and sometimes even up to 10 months and then something wonderful happens. Do you know what happens? Caterpillars turn into butterflies or moths. How do caterpillars become butterflies? First, the caterpillar forms a protective layer around itself. This stage is called chrysalis.
The caterpillar becomes a pupa and stays very still while it undergoes a series of changes. Then, after about 15 days, a beautiful butterfly emerges from the chrysalis. And the butterfly spreads its wings and flies high into the sky. Have you got your paper and colours ready? You can create your own drawing or you can use my principle of Chris. Ask a grown-up to download it from my shop at musicaudiostories.com When I do my story time for the children at nurseries, schools and libraries, I always find it fun when we draw together. So let's have a go. In my music audio story, Chris the Caterpillar, you met a caterpillar called Chris. Do you remember what caterpillars turn into? Caterpillars turn into butterflies. This is Chris as a butterfly. Let's choose a colour for his body. I'm going to choose orange. Now let's colour his wings. Have you seen my wings? They're not colourful, but do you know what my favourite colour is? It's purple! Speaking of purple, I'm going to colour Chris's wings in purple. Do you remember any of the flowers that appeared in my story? The fairy took a tiny splash of all the colours to help her turn Chris into a colourful butterfly. One of the flowers was the red rose. And look, here it is. So let's colour the red rose in red. And let's put a splash of red on Chris's wings.
the yellow sunflower also appears. Look, here it is. So let's colour the yellow sunflower in yellow. and add a splash of yellow to Chris's wings. Do you know what colour the sky is? The sky is blue, well, sometimes. So let's colour the sky blue. And don't forget to add a splash of blue to Chris's wings. And finally, let's use the green colour from the evergreen ivy for Chris's wings. And let's colour the flower's leaves in green too. Ah, oh, look how happy Chris is. There's lots more to colour in, but I think we need more time. When you have finished colouring in everything, ask a grown-up to post your artwork on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook using hashtag music audio stories and then I'll be able to see your artwork. In fact, we'll be able to see everyone's artwork. Hi everyone, it's me, Anna Christina, and in this video, I'd like to introduce you to one of my cute characters. Meet Chris, from my music audio story, Chris the Caterpillar. Chris lives in a garden. He is friends with a fairy.
The fairy is called Butterfly. Butterfly the fairy has a magic wand. When she makes magic, it glows. Other things live in the garden too. A red rose, a bluebell, a yellow sunflower, a white lily, a purple daffodil, and an evergreen ivy, and some frogs. Chris was once a caterpillar, but now he's a butterfly. Because caterpillars become butterflies. Enjoy listening to my story at musicaudiostories.com I hope you have enjoyed my Chris the Caterpillar video series. Let's recap on some of the things you have learned. First you learned all about Chris and how he became a butterfly in my music audio story Chris the Caterpillar. In my first activity, you listened to sound effects and music parts from the story and learned about instruments. In my second activity, you learned some fun facts about caterpillars. In my third activity, we coloured in my principal and learned about colours. And then you met Chris and his friends. What fun we've had! Yahoo! Ask a grown-up to download my cute principles for you from my shop at musicaudiostories.com and post your coloured in printables using hashtag Music Audio Stories on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook. Your artwork will be part of the Music Audio Stories creative world. I hope you have enjoyed my Chris the Caterpillar video series and I'll see you for another story time very soon. Bye!